Hi, welcome to TechCrunch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. HTML image tag. In this session, we are going to learn all about image tag with automatic and manual slideshow implementation. This session is going to divide into two parts. First, we'll see all about image, the syntax, example and demonstration. And the next session, we'll see the slideshow in syntax, example, demonstration and the slideshow in the two forms, automatic and manual. Now, let's see what is an HTML image tag and how it works. Image, importing and embedding an image of JPG, BMP, PNG, GIF, any kind of file formats with the help of ing tag. This is reference to the image. Here, the attributes of this tag is going to be like this. First, we need to have the SRC, which is recommending to, which is referring to source and give your absolute or relative or relative part of your file. If you are having a web content and you're having a folder inside the folder images, you can keep all your flower or any kind of image inside the folder. Now, another thing is alternate your ALT for flower just for texting or caption or labeling it to mentioning the size or border or you can have many other kind of image relative tags you can use to perform any activity and responsive of your images. Now, as once you include this type of tag in your HTML, it is going to display like this and show you the flower images. And you can see here these flowers are of different size. So when we enter a file of image without mentioning the size, it will originally, whatever type of the file size you have of image, it will display like this. So make sure when you aligned it or creating a web page, you mention the width or height, width and height or size of image as per your requirement. Because originally the file content is going to just embed in your HTML and present it in your web page. Now let's take a look at the image tag. So there are four types of image tag in HTML5 mentioned where IMG is defines an image, map is defines an image map, area that defines a clickable area inside an image map and a picture it's defined in HTML5 defines a container of multiple image resources. To define this type of image tags, you can see here image source syntax will go like this. Uh, you have a source and alternate and height and width and the size of image. You can mention more like use map where map name, planet name and this is what the complete map implementation you can see here where the image is mapped to a particular area of the image where when you click on it, it will link to the another page. We'll see that when we actually work in it. And you have a picture where you have a source media and other kind of syntax for another kind of uh, tag. It's the same. All these image files supporting JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF and many more type of image file format. Now let's take a look at the image slide show. To implement a slide show, whether if it is automatic or manual, all you need a complete piece of code which contains some styles and script. Now style and script is like a is like a makeup of your HTML. Makeup in the sense when you have your own HTML which is not aligned which is not responsive is just a static web page. Now to make it more responsive and interactive and more animations or in getting response and working at the browser level, you can add style and script. Now style and script will make more responsive your HTML web page, but that is still a static web page. To deploy it in server, you can deploy it in server and make it dynamic, but it is the same thing. In the case of dynamic, it will actually work with the entire server system. Now, unless you're not deploying it in server, this 
type of static web page can be used in offline application. So that's what the HTML style and script benefit here that you don't need to deploy it in server every time or you can just check it out in the preview and deploy it at your own local server or own system. It does not need even a single deployment All just need to that's what the uh, if you want to understand it in better you can see if it just executed in browser if you see it in a browser the html you can see the execution it does not need server deployment it is a static web page and the style and script still work together with html to make it more responsive and interactive web page now let's take a look at the manual slideshow what is happening here I'm using a div. Div is for division. Division of a particular block of a web page. Now, for example, you have a web page with registration and it's a home page. And it's home page, you have login block or advertisement block or a writing block or a video block or image block or a gallery or resources or many more. And you have a header and a footer and a navigation. So all these blocks can be managed with the div tag, which helps to make and maintain your block of code or block of content in a particular space. To divide the web page into the space, we use div tag. Now div tag is in the HTML and this tag contains your image and this image has the class this particular class you can see the oval the yellow oval is nothing but the class of style now style defined what activity he has to do it in your html now this is getting the responsive and interactive and presentation of your web page now this class defined what actually type of content going to be present now this is your content source your flower f1 jpg now here since it is a manual so you need to user has to access the button and press the button to see the next page or next image so for that particular concept you can see here we have a tag button and in this button tag we are using a method plus divs one now plus divs one is defined in your script now script creating some activity from the user and maintaining it in the show divs or plus divs method now this is what the style and script working in html to make it a manual slide show there's so many ways you can implement this particular type of uh, uh, requirement this is one of the way and most efficient and interactive now this is what that is what the uh, manual now let's take a look at the automatic now how is this different from manual to automatic since it looks same the difference is we are not going to have any buttons we are just going to have automatic now let's take a look at the demonstration and see how it works that will be more better to understand it now let's take a see First, we'll see image tag demonstration and then we'll see manual and automatic slideshow. So this is my, okay. So this is a static web page. So you can have any kind of project, web project. I'm going to use static web project. And in this demo, we can create web content and inside this web content, we are going to have an HTML, test.html. And uh, inside this HTML, I am going to have a folder with some file, JPG file samples, images just to make it more organized and structured of my application. So all I'm going to have my images together. You see, 
I'm just copying this JPG file. You can have any kind of uh, file format. JPG is kind of a compressed file and high quality. So it's good to have it. So this is my. So here you can see this is very interesting. You all you can just drag and drop also. It's all up to you how you want to have your things. You can call your properties and event and style. Okay, so let's um, have image tag. And you can see here testing and source. Now here you need to give your relative path. Relative and absolute path means that you are giving an absolute which is stored in some other drive and this this can place and relative is just with your with respect to your folder. So I'm just giving JPG and here you can see it is showing me the error. Now what all things you can do you can just have aligned and size height and width and hidden and you can use as many as type of map file we have seen map file and on blur on cancel and some even you can add it on double click on drag and drop so we'll see drag and drop in the next session so for now you can see all the options you can see here you can add it in your html with respect to this image now so far we have seen uh, your uh, image tag you can have height 42 or 100 and width 100 so this is what my image tag supposed to be so this is our jpg file you can you can have more GIF type of file or B PNG file like earth clip art you can see. I can just copy and paste and see PNG file can be included. So you can see here PNG can also work. If you want to make it in a bra break you can do it down or just like this. So you see flower and earth both are like this is jpg file and this is png file type of format and as i mentioned in a alternate testing img so this is what alternate this is your image tag now let's take a look at the execution of slide show in the same html so we have seen um, we have created uh, image now let's implement our slideshow for slideshow first let's have html where we have to head give a heading of slideshow with uh, just any style simple style automatic slide show or manual slideshow let's have manual first next let's define it in division tag and and call image tag here for now i'm just uh, adding this fig uh, just adding images and uh, we will see and add styles later It's just an image files. Now let's have some interaction and responsive uh, slideshow. To add slideshow, I'm just going to first have style, which is defined within the header.
tag. And here I am just adding for manual, I am just adding my slides and display none and execute terminate it. Now, once this is done, next step I need to have my script which is again within the header file for script i just need a variable index equals zero and a function browser or any kind of function name slide show method and this method has an implementation like slide show method and what i'm doing here variable i and variable x which is containing your document and document dot get elements by class name now here i'm going to get the variable from the class name and my class name is my slides yeah my slides and uh, once this is done next i'm going to put it in a loop so that it will keep running 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 so i equals to zero and i equals to directly x dot len and sorry this is not a method this is javascript so here i'll just had a single loop this loop executes my index oh sorry my images with the array of list of my image path and display your none so all you need to just displaying the images as a slideshow and then my index will be incremented where is my index not my index it's index incremented index of my image and if index is greater than x dot index or uh, x dot length of my file is some kind of logic to uh, implement for uh, slideshow you can have anything like it will keep running that's the concept and uh, this is done then x of my index that means indexing minus one dot style dot display so this will make it in automatic or manual you see so let's have an automatic i guess this is this is going to be automatic and yes your timeout is there we have to mention the set timeout and uh, method name is your slide show and this is your timeout method change image every two seconds so this will help in change image after every two seconds so let's take a look at the execution how it works now it is not going to work yet because we have not included our classes in your HTML. We just uh, included the script and style separately. We need to call the method, script method in our HTML. And that is done by class, including the class of your images and your header and your division division actually here we need to include the class class equals this is the this is how it's working if you see the this is what the automatic slideshow will look like here so this is how it executes automatic slideshow you can see here and uh, for the manual if you see the manual slideshow 
this is how it goes. You can see the buttons. And if you want to see it in your browser. So let's take a look at the execution, how it works. You see manual slideshow and this is the image. So there are so many ways you can see if you have seen there is our buttons previous and for the next this is your manual slide show and to see the automatic slide show here is the automatic slide show what we have done we have now removed the timeout and the time limitation and it will put it in a loop So this is our static web application with the HTML style tags and script tag. We have simply implemented a small script method and call it in HTML to make it slideshow execution. Important facts, HTML image tag support JPG, PMP, PNG, GIF and many more image file. Also works in static web application development which is used and integrated in offline application. Slideshow make more interactive with style and script html image tag can also be linked to other pages by clicking on it you can use hyperlink image map tags helps to relate and categorize the data in page can also be made image slider using slideshow concept for image navigation in the next session we are going to learn about html video and uh, in the next session, we are going to see HTML video and hyperlink a little bit more in detail. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting videos. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.